In algebra, which is a broad division of mathematics, abstract algebra is a common name for the subarea that studies algebraic structures in their own right. Such structures include groups, rings, fields, modules, vector spaces, and algebras. The specific term abstract algebra was coined at the beginning of the 20th century to distinguish this area from the other parts of algebra. The term modern algebra has also been used to denote abstract algebra. Two mathematical subject areas that study the properties of algebraic structures viewed as a whole are universal algebra and category theory. Algebraic structures, together with the associated homomorphisms, form categories. Category theory is a powerful formalism for studying and comparing different algebraic structures. History, as in other parts of mathematics, concrete problems and examples have played important roles in the development of abstract algebra. Through the end of the 19th century, many, perhaps most, of these problems were in some way related to the theory of algebraic equations. Major themes include, solving of systems of linear equations which led to linear algebra, attempts to find formulae for solutions of general polynomial equations of higher degree that resulted in discovery of groups as abstract manifestations of symmetry, arithmetical investigations of quadratic and higher degree forms and Diophantine equations, that directly produced the notions of a ring and ideal. Numerous textbooks in abstract algebra start with axiomatic definitions of various algebraic structures and then proceed to establish their properties. This creates a false impression that in algebra axioms had come first and then served as a motivation and as a basis of further study. The true order of historical development was almost exactly the opposite. For example, the hyper-complex numbers of the 19th century had kinematic and physical motivations but challenged comprehension. Most theories that are now recognized as parts of algebra started as collections of disparate facts from various branches of mathematics acquired a common theme that served as a core around which various results were grouped, and finally became unified on a basis of a common set of concepts. An archetypical example of this progressive synthesis can be seen in the history of group theory. Early group theory, there were several threads in the early development of group theory, in modern language loosely corresponding to number theory, theory of equations, and geometry. Linhard Euler considered algebraic operations on numbers modulo an integer, modulo arithmetic, in his generalization of Fermat's little theorem. These investigations were taken much further by Carl Friedrich Gauss, who considered the structure of multiplicative groups of residues modern and established many properties of cyclic and more general abelian groups that arise in this way. In his investigations of composition of binary quadratic forms, Gauss explicitly stated the associative law for the composition of forms, but like Euler before him, he seems to have been more interested in concrete results than in general theory. In 1870, Leopold Kronecker gave a definition of an abelian group in the context of ideal class groups of a number field, generalizing Gauss's work. But it appears he did not tie his definition with previous work on groups, particularly permutation groups. In 1882, Considering the same question, Heinrich M. Weber realized the connection and gave a similar definition that involved the cancellation property but omitted the existence of the inverse element, which was sufficient in his context. Permutations were studied by Joseph Louis Lagrange in his 1770 paper R. Copyright Flexions sur la R. Copyright Solution Alga Copyright Brick des A. Copyright Quations devoted to solutions of algebraic equations, in which he introduced Lagrange resolvents. Lagrange's goal was to understand why equations of third and fourth degree admit formulae for solutions, and he identified as key objects permutations of the roots. An important novel step taken by Lagrange in this paper was the abstract view of the roots, that is as symbols and not as numbers. However, he did not consider composition of permutations. Serendipitously, the first edition of Edward Waring's Meditations Algebraci appeared in the same year, with an expanded version published in 1782. Waring proved the main theorem on symmetric functions, and specially considered the relation between the roots of a quartic equation and its resolvent cubic. Ma copyright moire sur la ra copyright solution des a copyright equations of Alexander van der Moen developed the theory of symmetric functions from a slightly different angle, 
but like Lagrange, with the goal of understanding solvability of algebraic equations. Kronecker claimed in 1888 that the study of modern algebra began with this first paper of van der Monde. Cauchy states quite clearly that van der Monde had priority over Lagrange for this remarkable idea, which eventually led to the study of group theory. Paolo Ruffney was the first person to develop the theory of permutation groups, and like his predecessors, also in the context of solving algebraic equations. His goal was to establish the impossibility of an algebraic solution to a general algebraic equation of degree greater than 4. En route to this goal he introduced the notion of the order of an element of a group, conjugacy, the cycle decomposition of elements of permutation groups and the notions of primitive and imprimitive and proved some important theorems relating these concepts, such as, if G is a subgroup of S5 whose order is divisible by 5 then G contains an element of order 5. Note, however, that he got by without formalizing the concept of a group, or even of a permutation group. The next step was taken by a permalvarist Golowis in 1832, although his work remained unpublished until 1846, when he considered for the first time what is now called the closure property of a group of permutations, which he expressed as if in such a group one has the substitutions S and T then one has the substitution Saint the theory of permutation groups received further far-reaching development in the hands of Augustin Cauchy and Camille Jordan, both through introduction of new concepts and, primarily, a great wealth of results about special classes of permutation groups and even some general theorems. Among other things, Jordan defined a notion of isomorphism, still in the context of permutation groups and, incidentally, it was he who put the term group in wide use. The abstract notion of a group appeared for the first time in Arthur Cayley's papers in 1854. Cayley realized that a group need not be a permutation group, and may instead consist of matrices, whose algebraic properties, such as multiplication and inverses, he systematically investigated in succeeding years. Much later Cayley would revisit the question whether abstract groups were more general than permutation groups and establish that, in fact, any group is isomorphic to a group of permutations. Modern algebra, the end of the 19th and the beginning of the 20th century saw a tremendous shift in the methodology of mathematics. Abstract algebra emerged around the start of the 20th century, under the name modern algebra. Its study was part of the drive for more intellectual rigor in mathematics. Initially, the assumptions in classical algebra, on which the whole of mathematics depend, took the form of axiomatic systems. No longer satisfied with establishing properties of concrete objects, mathematicians started to turn their attention to general theory. Formal definitions of certain algebraic structures began to emerge in the 19th century. For example, results about various groups of permutations came to be seen as instances of general theorems that concern a general notion of an abstract group. Questions of structure and classification of various mathematical objects came to forefront. These processes were occurring throughout all of mathematics, but became especially pronounced in algebra. Formal definition through primitive operations and axioms were proposed for many basic algebraic structures, such as groups, rings, and fields. Hence such things as group theory and ring theory took their place in pure mathematics. The algebraic investigations of general fields by Ernst Steinitz and of commutative and then general rings by David Hilbert, Emil Artin and Emmy Nerva, building up on the work of Ernst Kummer, Leopold Kronecker and Richard Dedekind, who had considered ideals in commutative rings, and of Georg Frobenius and Assize Scher, concerning representation theory of groups, came to define abstract algebra. These developments at the last quarter of the 19th century and the first quarter of 20th century were systematically exposed in Bartel van der Waerden's Modern Algebra, the two-volume monograph published in 1930 Euro 1931 that forever changed for the mathematical world the meaning of the word algebra from the theory of equations to the theory of algebraic structures. Basic Concepts By abstracting away various amounts of detail mathematicians have created theories of various algebraic structures that apply to many objects. For instance, almost all systems studied are sets, to which the theorems of set theory apply. 
those sets that have a certain binary operation defined on them form magmas, to which the concepts concerning magmas, as well those concerning sets, apply. We can add additional constraints on the algebraic structure, such as associativity, associativity, identity, and inverses, and other more complex structures. With additional structure, more theorems could be proved, but the generality is reduced. The hierarchy of algebraic objects creates a hierarchy of the corresponding theories, for instance, the theorems of group theory appellate to rings since a ring is a group over one of its operations. Mathematicians choose a balance between the amount of generality and the richness of the theory. Examples of algebraic structures with a single binary operation are, magmas, quasi groups, monoids, semigroups, groups, more complicated examples include, rings, fields, modules, vector spaces, algebras over fields, associative algebras, Lie algebras, lattices, Boolean algebras, applications, because of its generality, abstract algebra is used in many fields of mathematics and science. For instance, algebraic topology uses algebraic objects to study topologies. The recently proved Poo and Kara copyright conjecture asserts that the fundamental group of a manifold, which encodes information about connectedness, can be used to determine whether a manifold is a sphere or not. Algebraic number theory studies various number rings that generalize the set of integers. Using tools of algebraic number theory, Andrew Wiles proved for Matt's last theorem. In physics, groups are used to represent symmetry operations, and the usage of group theory could simplify differential equations. In gauge theory, the requirement of local symmetry can be used to deduce the equations describing a system. The groups that describe those symmetries are Lie groups, and the study of Lie groups and Lie algebras reveals much about the physical system. For instance, the number of force carriers in a theory is equal to a dimension of the Lie algebra, and these bosons interact with the force they mediate if the Lie algebra is known abelian. See also Coding theory, publications in abstract algebra, references, fandom owned biography and Mac Tutor History of Mathematics Archive. Shum, Bruce, Deep Down Things, Baltimore, Johns Hopkins University Press, ISBN A0-8018-7971 ZAN, Sources, Allenby, RBJT, Rings, Fields and Groups, Butterworth Heinemann, ISBN A978-0-340-54450, Tour, Artin, Michael, Algebra, Prentice Hall. ISBN A978-0-89871-5 1 Burroughs, Stanley N. Sam Kapanovar, H.P. 1981, A Course in Universal Algebra, Gilbert, Jimmy. Gilbert, Linda, Elements of Modern Algebra, Thompson Brooks Cole, ISBN A978-0-534-40200 Shater, Lang, Serge, Algebra, Graduate Texts in Mathematics 211, New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A978-0-387-95000 4 Mra 1878556 Sitman, B.A., Rings, Fields, Vector Spaces, and Group Theory, An Introduction to Abstract Algebra via Geometric Constructability, Berlin. New York, Springer Verlag, ISBN A978-0-387-94800 Fiverr, Whitehead, C., Guide to Abstract Algebra, Hound Mills, Palgrave, ISBN A978-0-333-79400 W. Keith Nicholson Introduction to Abstract Algebra, 4th edition, John Wiley and Sons ISBN 978-1-118-13535-8. John Adurban Modern Algebra and Introduction, John Wiley and Sons, External Links. John Beachy, Abstract Algebra Online, Comprehensive List of Definitions and Theorems. Edwin Connell Elements of Abstract and Linear Algebra, Free Online Textbook. Frederick M. Goodman, Algebra Abstract and Concrete.
Judson, Thomas W. Abstract Algebra, Theory and Applications Here An introductory undergraduate text in the spirit of texts by Galeon or Herstein, covering groups, rings, integral domains, fields and Gorlois theory. Free downloadable PDF with open source GFDL license. Zeigela, A. Bernhard, Abstract Algebra A webbook on algebra and commutative algebra. Warning, work in progress. Free downloadable PDF under open publication license.